Hey dudes, um, I've had some posts from China, so I thought I'd show you what I got. I got a hammy 8 bit PlayVision portable pocket game HG828 76 in 1. Um, this was super cheap. Um, yeah. Um, just think of what you'd normally spend your money on. And that amount of money um, you could spend on one of these and have yourself a right time. So get one. I'm going to make this quite a short video because. I've got a tendency to ramble at the moment, I don't know what it is, so um, yeah, I've started doing it already, so I'm just going to take you through the good points of this. Um, some wonderful chingrish on the back, uh, digital arcade system, big 2.5 inch colour TFT screen, digital multi-platform device, TV out function for use with play on TV, compact and light mobile, built in 76 in 1, 8 bit games. Big screen and slim design for play more fun, more challenges. I'm excited, aren't you? Um, right, anyway. So, that's the box. That's what they reckon it should look like. It was completely trashed in the in the post. The, the outer box that came on it had a massive dent in the end, but that doesn't matter. Um, yeah. Um, the guy who sends them packages them really, really well. He's, he's the same guy who sent me some GB Boy colours, if you've seen those videos. Um, and he's really friendly, really nice, he packs his stuff really well. Um, so even if China Post decide to abuse it, it will get to you in good condition. So, there's the hammy box. Um, here's the actual console, which looks pretty smart. Um, it's plastics, not massively thick, but it's solid enough. Um, it is not the best quality plastic in the world, but for the price that I paid for it, which was quite little, um, I don't want to mention the price just in case it goes up and you message the guy and it's a little bit more, um, but it was quite cheap. So, this is your Fami Clone Portable. There's what you get when you load it up FH Famicom Hammy. Hammy Famicom, Hamicom. Um, press start and you get a list of your 76 games. They are actually um, quite good games. Um, Contra is there at the start, as the first one. Um, you got Aladdin, World Soccer, you got Super Mario, you got Mario Brothers. Um, Super Mario and a few of the others are actually it's like hacks. If you look at the title screen there, it's Mario and a Castle and Two and at the top. But if you if you start it, oh, if you press A, then it does the thing. If you start the game, it's Mario. You'll notice the colours are wrong. <laughs> the the um, if you look at it from a sort of 45 degree angle, it looks almost normal. But the sky is completely washed out as is Mario. Um, I'm playing this with one hand so it's not going to be great. Buttons are responsive. Yeah, it plays like it should, which is great. So that's a bit of gameplay. That's not what I bought this for though. You know me, I like music. Um, I bought an EverDrive N8, that's this one, which is pretty cool. Um, and I bought this because I've been using Neil Baldwin softwares, I've been using uh, NTRQ, Pulsar, uh, PR8, and what's the other one? Super Magic Music Maker, I've been using them quite a lot. Um, and soon he's going to have MIDI support for these, which is which is an absolute godsend for people like me. Um, so I'll be able to link that up with LSDJ on my GB Boy Color. Um, he's probably going to do this through a com controller port, I should imagine, um, to give MIDI in. Um, but I'm sure I can hack in whatever he's going to do into this or into one of the eight Famicom boards that I've got lying in a box that all work, which is ace. Um, I might make a, a Famicom portable soon. So there's the EverDrive loading up. 
Um, obviously I've tried this before. Here's all my music software. Inikari Musician doesn't seem to work, doesn't work on my Famicom either. Might be a header issue. Um, here's yeah, NTRQ. And disappointingly, doesn't display properly. Um, it does play back the music that you've written in it, but if you look, like half the screen's missing, the majority of the screen's missing. Um, so that's just a test that I wrote for this. It's playing back both left and right through there, I can tell. So that's nice. Um, I'm not sure whether this supports expansion audio, I'll do some research into that to find out for you, because I know you guys love that kind of thing, you Famicom guys. Um, so, yeah, I'll reset that because that's probably annoying your chest off right about now. Um, musics. Um, so, NTRQ doesn't display properly. PR8, Pulsar, Super Magic Music ma Maker, and. Um, Speech. Oh, I've got a speech synth as well. And that's PR8 display in there. And that displays perfectly. I haven't actually written anything in PR8, so I can't play anything in that. We've got Pulsar. Now, Pulsar is the important one because that's the, the really good tracker. Um, so, we're getting a bit of play back there. And that is playing back exactly as it did on my Famicom, so that's cool. Nice. Um, reset again. Having that reset switch to there is really, really unusual for me because I'm using a real Famicom the majority of the time. Um, music's show you Super Magic Music Maker as well. music software running which is pretty nice um, the sound isn't exactly the same as a Famicom as I've said because it's it can't be it's not a original CPU it's an it's a Famicom on a chip so um, it's a different sound but I do like the sound of these these clones when especially when they're doing drums they do like quite whippy style um, drum sounds um, I've noticed uh, on some things pitch bend doesn't work on the GB boy colour. I didn't notice, someone else did. Um, but Gallagher Beer Wars, I haven't tried that yet. Yeah, I've noticed the pitch bend doesn't work on, on the GB boy, but it seems to work on this. I'm playing Gallagher Beer Wars, which is a Gallagher hack with cans of beer. That's a very boy title, isn't it? Um, yeah, I've got a bone to pick with you NES Famicom programmers. Why is there so much NES and Famicom porn? It doesn't really seem to make any sense to me. I downloaded um, something like a thousand NES ROMs, and if you go into some of the NES ROMs, I'm not going to do it here because it's pitiful, um, but there's um, some hacks of. There's Little Mermaid, Naked Little Mermaid, where basically, basically they've just taken her bra off in all of the cutscenes and in the, in the game itself and there's lesbian tennis and the thing which makes the um, the protagonist the, um, 
the tennis players in this lesbians is that they're naked and it says lesbian tennis 69 at the back of the screen really you've got a chance to program something and what you cho choose to program is nez porn um yeah yeah oh we've moved on a bit from then but um that was just a bit of an eye opener um, I found some on the Game Boy as well. Hentai Game Boy ROMs. Yeah. Um, like nothing against porn. If you if you want to watch porn, that's great. Um, but Nez porn, really? You could be playing games or writing music. Uh, yeah. Um, all are normal. Nezrom seem to work, which is good. Apart from the ones which didn't work on the on the normal Famicom, because the EverDrive doesn't have all the mapper support yet. Um, I'm not sure it ever will. But all the important ones seem to work, including Super Mario Hard, which is a the hard type Mario game, which is impossible to play with with one hand because everything's got hammers um, but yeah that's my first initial impressions of this portable which seems to be quite good um, I'm going with, to withhold judgement for the moment because there might be some glaring um, things about it which put me off but for the music software at the moment it seems pretty good I'll be using Pulsar most of the time anyway NTRQ is kind of um, obsolete I'm hoping Hope I'm all right in saying that, Neil. Um, but uh, yeah, Pulsar seems to be the better version. Um, so yeah, pretty happy with that. Um, yeah, Hammy eight two eight. I'm going to stop the video now because I've gone into ramble mode again, and that is not a good thing. Um, so I'm going to go and have a cup of tea. But yeah, Hammy eight two eight pretty good I'm pretty happy with that one um, if you want the seller's details send me a message it's the same as the seller for the GB boy color so if if you know who that is then send him a message you'll be able to get you one of these um, it's pretty nice I'll do some more videos I promise I'll um, I'll explore expansion audio and I'll when we have MIDI clock sync for Neil Baldwin stuff I'll try and hack that into here as well. I'll try and pitch bend it. I'll try and pro sound it. I'll try and do everything I can. Um, and if I do those things, I'll tell you how. So, nice one. I um, hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, pick one up. I reckon they're worth it at this point. But I'd wait a few days until I've got to know it properly. Until you do. Okay. See you in a bit, guys. Enjoy your day, whatever you're up to.